What's up ladies and gentlemen, here in my kitchen, about to show you how to make the best fucking waffles ever. Not only, these, not only are these the most nutritious, but they're the best tasting. If you would agree with me, then you suck. Okay. So let's start with what you're going to need to get this job done. Alright, we got five main ingredients here. Starting with the most important, core MRP. Now, this is the old label, but I'm using vanilla because it's a very neutral flavor and it's going to work well for this recipe. Just so you know what the new labels look like, we got them over here with all the other fine products made by Core Nutritionals. And if you aren't familiar with this product line, then you need to get familiar with this product line! Because it's the best one out there. Pre-workout, intra-workout, post-workout, protein, commodity line, you name it, they got it, it's the best. Alright, back to the waffles. So, you're going to need some Core MRP. You're going to need some sweet potatoes. Now, these sweet potatoes are already cooked. I already measured them out. All right? It's 20 ounces of cooked sweet potatoes. What I do is I buy organic sweet potatoes because they taste better and they are better. Um, I dice them up. I put Saigon cinnamon on them, plenty of it. I bake them for about an hour at 400 degrees, you know, until they're nice and soft. Okay? Need some eggs. I don't, I don't fuck around. I get the real deal. We don't get the cheap eggs. We get the ones that got 660 milligrams of omega-3s per egg. Boom! Yeah! All right. Non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Chibai. Yeah. Get you some. Liquid egg whites. It's a Saigon cinnamon. We got some uh, generic Splenda and some baking soda. And then, once you get ready to eat them, you're going to need some of this shit right here. Walden Farms Calorie-Free Pancake Syrup. This is the shit. Booyah! All right, now, as far as equipment, Ninja Blender. If you don't have a Ninja Blender, you ain't getting shit done. All right? You don't... This is not going to work with an ordinary blender, because we're not fucking around making, like, five or six waffles. We're making, like, 20 waffles. So we need big-time equipment. All right? So, we get started with some uh, liquid egg whites. I'm going to start off by, uh, you see that? That's the waffle maker telling us that it's ready. Two cups of liquid egg whites to get started. We'll probably add a little more at the end. All right. And then, we're going to put ten of these bitches in here. By the way, if you want any of this sexy fucking crushing apparel, then get with my boy Patrick Maine. He's got all kinds of good stuff. Sweatshorts, thermals, hats, you name it, he's got it. Alright? So, if you want to look this good, you need to get with Patrick. Alright. Let's do a calf shot. Boom! <laughs> yeah, I don't have Doug Miller calves, so... Going ten eggs here. The eggs are providing both a, a source of excellent protein and also healthy fat. What do you think about that, Sadie? I don't think she gives a shit. She's like, I'm not getting you them waffles, so fuck it. All I get's Alpo. <laughs> I don't feed my dogs Alpo. That's shit. They get holistic food. All right, so first two ingredients down. We got the egg whites, we got the eggs, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, sweet potatoes in, and I'm gonna use my hands, because I don't give a fuck. I'm the one eating this, so I don't care. All right, I wash my hands. You do what you gotta do, I'll do what I gotta do. Got a man down over here. Man, that's done. All right. Now, put our uh, minor ingredients in here. We've got our fake Splenda. We'll put a couple teaspoons of some baking soda. And you can never have too much cinnamon, so we're just going to go ahead and put a shitload of that in there. For some tasty goodness. Alright. Now, Where's my 
scale. Here we go. Put this guy on here. Zero this and measure this out. And I'm not doing this by scoops, I'm actually doing this by weight so that it's more precise. going for 400 grams here and I'll show you in a minute how I'm working this all together. 405 grams. Alright, so 405 grams of that. Now put some Greek yogurt in there. Again, I'm doing the Greek yogurt by weight as well. Six, 400 grams of that. All right. Go back in the fridge. Now, get this bitch plugged in. The super powerful ninja blender. Are you ready? Now you kind of have to tip it a little bit so you get it all to mix in. here and I'm putting a shit ton of ingredients so you're gonna have to take a spoon and push some of the thicker stuff like the Greek yogurt down so it mixes in and what I usually do is I leave a little bit of the, uh, the egg whites that I'm gonna include in the total formula to add at the end because it it thins out the top, so I'm, I'm adding half a cup here, and it'll help suck all that shit down in, get it nice homogenous mixture. As usual, making a fucking mess. Look at the excitement. Pure adrenaline. All right, we're just about there, folks. Get this mixed up one more time, and then we should be good to go. Alright, that's pretty well mixed up. You want it thin enough so that it pours, but you don't want it 
thick like sludge so that it barely pours out. It's too thin and it'll run all over the place when you put it in the waffle makers. Now, if you come on over here, you can see I'm not fucking around here. We're not, we're not playing around with one waffle maker. We got three waffle makers. It's, it's, it's go big or go home, okay? You're gonna prep food, you gotta make, prep enough food to make some fucking gains. Not enough to be a little bitch. Where's my freaking spoon? So, one more thing you're gonna need here is some cooking spray. One of these waffle irons is broken, but I still use it. It still fucking works. All right. Spray these bitches. And, here we go. Let the magic begin. You gotta get just the right amount of batter. You don't want too much or it'll go flying over the sides. You kind of want to let that sear a little bit before you close it or it'll just kind of go over, all over the place and make a mess, but I usually end up making a mess when I cook. All right. Now I typically, as you can see, it's going all over the place. That often happens with the first one. That's what she said. <laughs> Uber excitement. Right. Here we go. Let those cook. Hey, woo. She wants to get her good side. And you can come zoom in on this over here. So I have a spreadsheet that I use to calculate all macros and as you can see this particular spreadsheet I put the ingredients for our, our lovely waffles here. Um, the egg whites, whole egg, sweet potato, cor uh, corn pea, and the Greek yogurt. Um, it gives you a total for the entire batch so then what you need to do to calculate the macro per waffle is to take these totals and divide them by the total number of waffles that the batch makes. Like I said, it usually ends up being around 20. Um, what I found before when I made these kind of waffles, you end up with around 15 grams of, of protein, 15 grams of carbs, and maybe a gram or two of fat per waffle. But like I said, that can vary. Um, kind of depends on the batch. So, these are, our first round here is done. Put them in the container over here. Look at that. Look at that! Yeah! Yeah! I just want to fucking eat the shit out of that! It's a little hot though. It's kind of burning my hand. <laughs> so, you know, one more here. So there you go. That's the, uh, that's the simple waffle recipe with some corn or pea. But, uh, you know, just do this if you want to make gains. Otherwise, you know, keep eating whatever bullshit you're eating. So, uh, let's go back over here. Just take one more look at our Core Nutritional line of products. If you're interested in gains. Gains! Fury Extreme, best pre-workout on the market. And if you really want to get fucking nuts, stack that shit with some Core Pump. Non-stimulant pre-workout. Works great by itself. You put those two together and you will need to be escorted from the gym. They'll be like, you, you've been here for an hour. You leave. You Ooh. done. Okay, sorry Sadie, get a little too fired up. Intra workout, ABC. Branch chain aminos, beta alanine, citrulline. Core iso, it's our whey isolate. Peanut butter toffee flavor and chocolate flavor. Core PWO, it's pretty much like drinking liquid cocoa puffs after your workout. Awesomeness. Core Flex, it's our joint supplement. 
for flexibility. <laughs> and a couple of core commodities. We got some HMB for strength and muscle preservation, which is extremely effective during caloric deficits, but beneficial during all training periods. Beta alanine maintains pH levels during workout, helps with muscular endurance, offsetting fatigue, and of course, core hard. Cortisol suppressant, hardening agent. So that's just some of the core line, but I'd encourage you to go to corenutritionals.com, check out their entire line of products. There's a full description of all products with their ingredients. No proprietary blends. We don't do that bullshit, okay? We disclose exactly what's in every product, the exact amount. Thank you, Doug Miller, for making the best product line on the market. Go enjoy yourself some core MRP waffles and make some fucking gains! Gains! Stopped. Okay. I think I'm ready to go. It's not stopped. Hmm?